Since the dawn of time, mankind has searched for the perfect companion. Since then, mankind has been inseparable from his canine brethren. This is the story of one caveman's search for free energy. We were having this discussion with my video editor, Dave Na. He was like, you guys should make a dog leash that can recharge your phone by the power of your dogs. And we were like, that's a really stupid idea. 10 minutes later when he forgot about the idea, we claimed it as our own and said, we should make a dog leash that charges your phone. It sounds absurd, but we're gonna do it. I got the stuff. Yeah. With the clear idea of what we need to do, we wanted to get some data on these dogs and see just what kind of power they put out. Transition time. Can't find anything in there. Come on, yes! The average size dog eats about four cups of dog food a day. I'm gonna be using Griffin for a lot of these calculations because he eats about six to 10 cups a day depending on how active he is. So with Griffin six cups a day, he's eating about 2,400 calories a day, which is the equivalent of three watt hours. If we do some math, we can find out that he would have to run nonstop for 24 hours to generate nine watt hours of battery, which isn't even enough to charge my iPhone. So with these figures in mind, we set out to make this prototype dog leash thing. Got the prototype done. Uh, I actually said rapid prototyping, but not that rapid. What do you mean not that rapid? Yeah, he's charging my phone. <laughs> Go charge my phone. Go, go, go. You wanna charge my phone? Go charge my phone. Oh, gosh. Okay, ready? Let me hold on tighter. Griffin, Griffin. Go get my phone. Okay, that's him pulling power. I think we're ready to move to step two. So we knew we wanted to harness the recoiling motion of our dogs, pulling the leashes in and out. That linear motion could be converted to an axial motion with the center of the dog leash. We actually used this lawnmower pull start to do it. Sam found these hand crank generators, which were perfect for this application, as all the charge circuitry and diodes were already there. They basically charge going in and out. <laughs> that light means it's working. The only thing left to do was simply test this prototype. So the first test was pretty successful. It worked for the most part, and eventually the leash got tied up and broke because it was like kind of haphazardly slapped together for just some initial testing. But with that out of the way, we took the boys out for some ice cream to debrief and to discuss other ideas of what we wanted to do in the next prototype. They ate their ice cream and the advertisers are insatiable. They're just hungry for more. This is my ice cream. Up doing was having two dog leashes. I fixed the first one and made it a little bit more presentable to look, it looks pretty cool. And Sam actually used a commercial endeavor, and his is more of a retrofitted Lego pieces and stuff out in the open so you can clearly see what's going on. But they both generally rely on the same principle. There's a bunch of gears that do induction to get the motor to spin faster because the motor needs to spin really fast to generate enough current to charge your batteries or run your LED lights or, in this case, charge the phone. So with these prototypes done, it was simply time to take them out and run the boys again. So we ended up walking roughly around two or three miles or so, and unfortunately, these weren't quite that great for charging phones. 
We were able to hook a meter up to the leash and try and find out how much current it generated. Doing some more math, it looks like it will take over 138 hours to fully charge my phone, which is about 5.8 days. That's pretty terrible. If we increase the gearing to make this go a little faster, it would charge quicker, but there would be too much resistance, at least with these gears, that the leash might not retract properly. This battery started off dead, and it's still dead where it won't charge my phone anymore, but luckily we can plug it into the wall and just use this as a normal power bank. I say normal, but it's... Not quite normal. As you can see, the math is pretty terrible. 5.8 days of running your dogs around, that's that's pretty terrible. But unfortunately, this wasn't really enough current and uh, power output to really charge your phones. There's just too many efficiencies and losses in the system to really do that, to utilize the dogs in the most optimal way to do this. However, using the in and out motion of your dog leash, generally put enough current and voltage enough to run some simple LED lights and some small electronic devices. But it was an interesting experiment. So I hope you guys enjoyed the clickbait. Let us know what other terrible ideas you guys can come up with as far as a way to charge your phone because I'm not going to start this new series of just doing weird projects or anything interesting to charge your phone or whatever you guys want. So let us know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next clickbaity video.